To begin creating our front bodice block, we need to start by making a rectangle. Click the rectangle tool and give it a name of front or front bodice. And for the X, which is our horizontal length, we need 17 and 3 quarters inches. And in the width, make it 10 and a quarter inch. Click OK and then bring the piece down to the working area by clicking on the block. Now I will use my drafting tool and mark some guidelines. First for the center front, I need a point at 14 and 5 8 inch distance from the far point, which is point number one, and I will square out three inches. So I'm just drawing a vertical line, exactly three inches, and right mouse click to finish. Now I need my shoulder tip line, so from the far point this will be seven and three eighths inches and again I will draw a three inch line horizontally to see the internal segment lengths press shift F8 Now I must also draw a slope line starting from point number one, click OK. The line must intersect the shoulder line, so draw your line through the shoulder line and specify in the diagonal distance 17 and 7 8 inch. Right mouse click to finish. Then use the rotate contour tool and click on that point and pivot it so that it touches the guideline. Now I will do the same for the shoulder line. So beginning at my shoulder point, I will draw a line to intersect this guideline, and my distance needs to be exactly five and a quarter inches. Again, I use the Rotate Contour tool and click on this point and make sure it touches my guideline. Then I will draw a 4-inch perpendicular line from the high point shoulder. So I click OK and it must intersect this guideline. So to get exactly perpendicular, I go to From Segment and in the angle I put 0 degrees and my distance I type in 4 inches. Then I will go back to the add point tool and I will now mark my bus point. So along the slope line take the add point and click on the segment and specify a distance of nine and a half inches from the next point. Then if I press the control key and put my cursor where the ruler is, I can drag a guideline to place this right on that point. Then I go back to my draft tool and now I will draw a 4 inch vertical line going through that point. Now I'm going to temporarily hide my grain line, so if I go to the View menu and go to the Piece view, on the Internals tab I will uncheck Grain Line. This will hide the grain line segment. And I will also press the F8 key to hide my external segment lengths. Okay, now I need to go one-third the distance between my neckline and my bust line. So between point 0.6 and point 0.7 I'm going to take the draft tool and click on the segment. To go exactly one-third the way in the proportional field I type 0.333. Click OK and then I'm going to draw a vertical segment 6 and 3 quarters inches long. My next step is to draw the strap line. So from high point shoulder, I'm going to draw a segment that intersects my side seam guideline. 
and this distance needs to be 17 and 7 8 inches long. Use the rotate contour tool and pivot the segment so it touches the guideline. Now I'm back in the add point tool and I'm going to add my point for the first dart leg. So this will be three and a quarter inches from the previous point. Then take the move point tool and move it out three sixteenths of an inch. Then I will also add a point along the side seam to mark my side seam distance. This will be eight and a half inches from the previous point. Then I need a guideline, so again I will go to the edge of the screen and drag out a guideline to be placed at that point. I should also bring a guideline where I drew my six and three quarter inch line here. These three lines will give me guidance for my armhole. Now I can delete this strap line, so I select it and press delete key from the keyboard. Then using the rotate segment tool, I'm going to select the segment from, first I'm going to mark 0.5 as the pivot point, then select the segment from 4 to 5. Then I select on my 0.4 and pivot it out. I'm going to pivot this out a distance of 1 inch and a quarter. Since it's a negative angle, you type a negative distance. Now go back to the draft tool and draw your segment from 0.4 to 2. Then draw inside to your bus point for the first dart leg. Now using the add point tool, mark your second dart leg point. So this will be four inches away from the side waist. Now I go back into draft tool and I must draw a dart leg exactly equal in length to the first dart leg and going through this point. So this will be 7.853 inches long. Now I need to break this segment at point number two. So click on the internal and then click on the point where you need to break it and then click the divide contour. This breaks it into two separate segments. So now I can select the segment and delete. And then I go back to draft tool and I can then draw my segment. Here I'm going to draw a curved line so I hold down the shift key to get my curve point. I just need a slight curve. You can always take the move point tool and adjust your segment. I also need to put a curve point here. So again, holding down the shift key, just give a slight curve at the bottom. Okay, now I'm ready to design the armhole and neckline. So first of all, I'm going to delete my slope line. It's an unnecessary line. And then go to file menu choose merge and select from the examples folder the rulers file and in my rulers file I only need to use the French curve so select the French curve click OK and click on the piece to bring it to the working area now place the ruler so that the ruler is touching all three of the guidelines you may have to pivot, place and pivot the ruler until you get the line of the ruler touching all three guidelines. Okay, now I'm ready to copy and paste the segment. So select the segment on the ruler that you want to copy. Go to segment menu and choose copy. The paste segment clipboard will appear showing the segment that you copied. and the X mark here is just indicating the start point of the segment. So now I can move the ruler away 
and I'm going to paste the segment starting at the shoulder point. So select the shoulder point and then click the paste internal button to paste the segment. Now I can close the window and then I'm going to zoom in here and I'll take the move point tool and I take my move point and I need to extend the segment so that it touches the side seam. Now for the neckline, select the ruler and flip it vertically and then bring it down into position so that the curve of the ruler is touching your neck point. It's okay if it goes through this line and place it so that it finishes touching your guideline here. Now I will zoom in and we will do the same thing. We will select the segment on the ruler to copy. So we go to segment, copy, and then I'm going to move my ruler away. Okay, let me zoom out and I will select my start point where to paste it and choose paste internal. Then let's zoom in here to get a closer look. We may have to true up the segment a little bit. So I will take the move point tool and select each point and true up the shape a little bit of my neckline. Now before we trace out the piece, I'm going to clean up the screen by first deleting all my guidelines. So here I'm selecting and just deleting using the delete key. And I need to offset the apex of the dart. So drag a guideline on top of the apex, then double click on the guideline and offset it a half inch to the left. Okay, now I'll zoom in here and just take the draft tool and draw to your center point. Now to switch that line to an external line, take the swap segments tool and click on the first and last point of the external and the first and the last point of the internal line. Choose substitute for both and click OK. Okay, now I'm ready to trace out the new piece. So I will take the Trace Segments tool and trace in a clockwise direction, clicking on each segment between each grading point. So we trace around the piece, and when finished, answer the yes, and the new piece is created. Simply exit the tool and drag out the new piece and clean up some of the unnecessary points. Now we're putting the finishing touches. Select the seam tool and add your seam allowances. So from point 0.1 to point 0.8 I'm adding a half inch seam allowance. And in the neckline which is point 0.8 to point 0.9 I'm typing in quarter inch. We also need to set this piece as a half piece. So select your mirror line and select set half tool. This will mirror the piece, making the bottom half equal to the top half. Now I will take the notch tool and add my notches to the corners. Here I'm putting the notch on the next line and on this point this will be set on the previous line. So here my notches are set. And on the corner here, we say on the next line. And zoom in on this corner and do the same. This will be on the previous line. Now to convert this cutout dart to a computerized dart, all we have to do is select our apex point and press the delete key to delete it. Then we can select our two points of the dart. Then the dart tool lights up, create dart. Click the create dart tool and the depth will be seven and a half inches. That's my length or depth. And my drill hole is a half inch away from the apex. The overlap direction is set to counterclockwise. So when everything's filled out, click OK and we are finished. All we have to do is go to the F10 key and don't forget to go back to the internals tab and put the check mark back on grain line 
and my grain line is back in the center of the piece.